you don't have a choice. No matter how much I hate it, you have to ask for help. So, gathering all the courage and all the strength I have left, I try to shout at the top of my lungs. The predicament I never expected appears. I can't. Where am I? Why am I here? How did this happen? I ponder as I struggle for my life. Cramped spaces. My claustrophobic self panics to wake up in one. My thoughts are in disarray. This unforeseen situation puts me on edge. What should I do? What should I do? I have to get out of this hellish place. I think as my hands frantically look for an exit. Seconds feel like eternity as I begin my ruthless struggle. I'm getting dizzy. I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm going to die. Drenching with sweat, I tremble as I slowly accept my fate. No! There's no way I would accept this. The perseverance self fights back. Out of desperation, I get wild and I get to my head trips. While rampaging the little curb space, something catches my attention. I bump my head against something, and I think it moved. I'm not sure, but I feel like the wall-like thing in front of me somehow watch. Feeling uncomfortable in this narrow space, I try my best to position my hands, push the wall with all I got, to no avail, I can't force it open. I don't have any choice left. No matter how much I hate it, I have to ask for help. So, gathering all the courage and the strength I have left, I try to shout as loud as I can, but the plight I never anticipated emerges. I can't. Where am I? Why am I here? How did this happen? I wonder as I struggled for my life. I close my eyes, and that's when it all comes back to me. I can talk, because there's no air coming out of my mouth. There's no air coming out of my mouth. Because I'm not breathing. I'm not breathing because I'm dead. Yes, I remember now. I died.